Okay, Daffy, so we had a little break then. Yeah. Now, the other day you said that um, you had two boyfriends. One was a beekeeper and one was a school teacher. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have them at the same time. No, when the bee beekeeper went away, which they followed the, um, the different trees for the bees, yep. I used to go out with Noel. And he was the teacher? He was the teacher. Okay, but you and were just telling me then about the beekeeper. And how old were you then? Mm. Round about 17, 18, somewhere about in that age group. And he was about the same age as you? Uh, Noel would have been a little bit older than me because he, he was, was a teacher. school teacher. Uh, John was around about my age. He was probably one year older. And what did you say about John earlier? What did you just say to me before? He was your first boyfriend? Yeah, the first real boyfriend. And I still think about him, and even he... now at 93, going back. Yeah. You know? And what did you say? He was your first... You said he was he was your first real love? Yeah, 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 first, yeah, my first real love. And you met him at Bandara because he was a beekeeper? Yeah, yeah. And so when you had a boyfriend back then, what kind of things did you do together? Well, we used to ride bikes. We used to ride horses. We used to go to the movies. We used to go dancing. We had a dance every Saturday night. And that, that's what we done. And so did... John the beekeeper take you to a dance? Yeah, well, yeah. And you said that they had balls back then as well? Oh, yes. Church of England, Catholic ball, hospital ball. Oh, yeah. And what did you do there? Like, was there alcohol there? Oh, no. But the boys used to take it out at the back of the hall and drink it. <laughs> You never had drink inside, you weren't allowed. Oh. Did you ever have drinks? No. Have you ever been drunk in your life? No. I've I never... might have been a little bit tipsy if I had a drink. Goes to my head and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were tipsy on your 90th birthday, remember? Well, that's what I say. <laughs> Because you said you thought that you were allergic to the alcohol because it made your eyes wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, dear. No, I was never a drinker. <laughs> and um, so you you broke it off with John, the beekeeper? Yeah, because I thought he told me a lie, you know, about the sprained ankle. And the ball. Yeah, because he lived in Inverell, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And he said he couldn't come and see you because he had a sprained ankle? Yeah, yeah. And then a girl that you knew mm. came to you and said, oh, I saw John and he didn't have a sprained ankle. Yeah. And you thought he lied to you? Yeah. So, so what did you do? I wrote to him because we didn't have the telephone. <laughs> yeah. I wrote him a letter and told him it was off. Because he told me a lie. But later on, I think I did find out that he did have a sprained ankle. And this girl was lying? Yeah. Now, her name was Claire Hennessy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I've got a good memory. You do. <laughs> and so, is that a regret that you have in your life? Yeah. Well, what, oh, how that... did you describe him earlier? Your, your, your face lit up when you were describing him. Oh, he, he was lovely. He was not. But he was very dark. Was uh, he good looking? Oh, yes. And they used to call him Midnight because of his dark complexion. He wasn't black. Yeah. But 
someone said that his grandfather, I think, was come from India, like yeah. the dark yeah. Indians. But he was handsome. Oh, yes, John was. All the girls liked him. And he picked you? Yeah. Oh, I was nice looking then. <laughs> <laughs> I had teeth <laughs> and blonde hair. <laughs> and I always dressed nice. I never dressed horrible. And you said that you had two jobs. Yeah. What were they? I was a part-time telephonist. What's that? Uh, oh, it's hard to explain what the board was like. Yeah. But I used to have to plug in and ask them what number they wanted. So you had to connect phone calls? Yeah, yeah. And what would you say? How would you answer the call? You'd say, um, number please. And they would say the number? Yeah, and then we'd plug it in and ring it. So you'd pull the plug out of the board? You'd put a plug in. If Say he said he wanted double nine. Yep. You'd pick up this plug. Yep. Plug it in. Yep. He, and then press the button, then it would ring. And did you wait till the other person on the other end answered? Oh, uh, yeah. We, no, we used to close. But we'd open it up to see if they were talking. Did you ever listen in on conversations? No. Did you have phone calls with the other telephonists? Yes. Inverell, Armadale. Right. <laughs> and we worked till... If you'd done the weekend shift or the week shift, you used to work till 10 o'clock at night and then the boys came on and they sleep in the exchange. Right. Okay, well, that might do for today, Daffy. Have oh, you, good. Have you got any jobs you're going to do today? Oh, I don't know. I haven't even thought of it. What's today, Friday? Thursday. Is it Thursday? It's yeah. not. It's Friday. No, it's not. You're reading the paper. Oh, it is Thursday too. <laughs> I thought it was Friday. Oh, well, what are we having for dinner? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was Friday. We were going to have pizza. Yeah. <laughs>